Hello everybody and welcome to this video about Drake Fire Chasm. Drake Fire Chasm is a roguelike that was originally created for the 7 day roguelike challenge of 2012. You can find and download the game at uh, dualcompiling.blogspot.be The game is written in C++. It only has a Windows version and as far as I know it's not open source. So let's start a new game. In this game you can choose between five different kinds of dragons. Each dragon will have a few uh, different abilities. You also have to choose between three uh, types of attack. Basically the ball attack, the cone or the line. The line does uh, the most damage. It does about double damage of the cone attack and the ball attack does even less. So I suggest you take the line attack. In the beginning of the game, the game can be pretty hard because your ability only has a very limited range. It starts at range 1 and it will increase by 1 if you choose the line um, breath attack, then it will increase by 1 for each time you go down a level. Each time you go down a level, your age will increase by 1 and all of your stats will increase by one so you will gain one strength one stamina and one willpower in addition to this you will also gain one additional stat point depending on which corpses you ate during that level eating corpses will also heal you a certain amount of health point points and it's the only way to heal in the game except for dragon orbs the reason why the game can be pretty hard at the beginning is because this is basically a paper, scissor, rock kind of game. So um, the paper beats the rock, the rock beats the scissor, and the scissor beats paper. Take for example this cave bear. This is a tough enemy. Certain abilities are particularly strong against tough enemies. If you ate the most tough corpses at the end of the level, then you will gain one point of stamina. Let's have a look at this Earth Gnome. This Earth Gnome is a ranged attacker, it's a cunning enemy. The regular bump attack is particularly, pr particularly strong against cunning enemies. Then finally there is this Red. Reds are agile opponents and eating their corpses gives you uh, ability to increase your strength point. Just to demonstrate I will use a regular bump attack against the red. You will see it only slightly wound a bit. This is what I mean by paper rock scissor. So if you use the, the rock against the scissor it's not going to be effective. But if you use the paper which is the breath attack it will simply destroy it. You might wonder which corpses are the best to eat. I strongly recommend you try to increase your stamina as much as you possibly can. So go for all those tough corpses, because they're really worth it. Because you can only heal by eating a corpse, you have to make sure that you plan accordingly and that you save the corpses for when you need it. You can only eat 10 corpses on each level. I have already eaten 5, so I will have to eat another 5 corpses. But sadly there are not enough tough enemies available. That means that I will have to choose either between uh, strength or willpower. And I think I will rather increase my will, uh, my strength than my willpower. So I'm gonna eat these reds. Four or five of these reds will be enough to increase my strength by an additional one point. So now that I go down the level, my age will increase. I will gain two strength points, one stamina and one willpower. In addition, I get to choose a new ability. 
The Firebolt ability is specific for the Fire Dragon. The other two are for uh, general abilities that everybody gets. I'm gonna choose Rake as my second ability. This will upgrade, upgrade the basic melee bump attack. Right now it only increases the damage and attack speed by 15%, but later in the game this will become much more significant as my strength will increase. Again, it's important to use the right ability against the right opponent. Usually it's best to try and eliminate the ranged opponents as soon as you can. You can also use the breath attack against against um, cunning enemies. And again there is a complete lack of tough enemies, so I will probably end up increasing my strength again. This is the first tough one. Second, third. The least amount of corpses of one type that you need in order to increase that particular attribute is 4. Because if you eat 3 of one kind, 3 of another, and then 4 of the, the one that you want, the total will be 10. So now I will have to uh, eat 1, 2, and 3 inspiring, and then 3 strong. And this will pretty much guarantee that I will get 5 stamina, 4 strength and 3 willpower. <coughs> the second ability that I, can I choose is Magic Resistance. Just because uh, resistances increase your effective hit points, it's always good to have. Looks like I will be able to succeed in increasing my stamina one more time, which is very good. And as my final corpse, I will be able to eat whatever I want. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. I'm happy with that. I'm not sure what gold is for exactly, but. Then as my third additional ability I will choose Bite. The Bite ability is effective against Cunning Enemy, which is pretty useful because most Cunning Enemies are ranged. So this gives you a, a powerful option of, of disposing of these ranged enemies, if you can get close enough. But more importantly it will heal you. At the beginning it will heal you for 30% and this will increase as your strength increases. This is the first adventure party level. You will notice that it's different from other levels. It's much smaller, it has a different kind of layout, and instead of fighting multiple opponents, I'm all only fighting one. In this case, it's a hunter, so he will probably use a strange attack. Luckily, I have an ability that is strong against these type of enemies. The hunter has accidentally killed himself by leaping backwards in a pile of lava, which is not so smart. Now, it is possible, if you're really unlucky, you will get a, a very tough opponent on this level and then you will just die. There's not, not much you can do about that. It's a bit of a matter of luck. So because he increased uh, the strength, I got another point of strength. That brings my total strength to 7. Again I will choose hardened skills, because this increases my resistances against physical attacks. So then I will have magic resistance and physical resistance. This brings my uh, effective hit points as high as I possibly can. Paladins, they are also tough enemies. Waiting around the corner is often a good choice when you are facing ranged enemies.
if I'm gonna use my fire attack on the ice it will melt and become water similarly if you're using ice on lava the lava will disappear if you're using uh, ice on water it will it will freeze Some of the enemies will drop orbs. It's uh, often a very good idea to try and get these orbs. Because this dragon's orb can have uh, pretty powerful abilities. You can only use these once. But even then they are very good. So let's see what I got this time. Another point of stamina. That is very good. If I can manage to get another point of uh, another two points of stamina next round, then I will be able to get a very good um, ability that will increase my other attributes. As my fifth ability, I'm gonna choose frightful presence because this will also debuff the enemies, again increasing the effectiveness of my character. This is a very bad position to be. I'm surrounded by lots of ranged enemies and I have no effective way to escape. I'll probably have the best chance if I move to the upper right, but even then I will probably end up having a lot of damage. At least I can take out this, dam this hunter before he reaches me, and then I will be able to eat uh, the warrior. Next I will try to go for the warlock, and hopefully I can bite him and heal. I really needed that hit point. Very good. So now my health is back up to an uh, acceptable level. I ate two tough corpses. Or I thought I ate two tough corpses. But uh, apparently not. I must have eaten um, only one tough then. And and the warlock, I guess. I thought I ate the warrior, but I don't know. Oh, I did not eat the warlock. Strange. So I have a, a two tough corpses then. Let's wait for the rat. Let's wait for the mage. Mage blinks, but not very good. I think this level also has a, a more powerful adventure that you have to defeat. These have more hit points than the regular mobs. I think that's one of them. So this is Malum. That's a pretty bad one. I'm not too happy about that. He might kill me. Let's see how that goes. Oh no, this is the warlock type. These are not too bad. But again, if you get like the worst kind, then you might die and there is not much you can do against that. I particularly hate the shaman type because they heal themselves. And that can be pretty nasty if you don't have enough damage. Okay, so let's see what corpses that we can eat. I think I'll try to um, balance strength against willpower and then hopefully I have enough toughness because I didn't really count. So let's see what I get. 
I hope I get the another point of stamina because that would be really great. If I get 12 stamina, yes. This will uh, give all my other stats plus 3. If I only had 11 stamina at this point, I would only get plus 2. So I like to get this extra point at, at this stage of the game. Let's peek in this room. Not much to see. Paladins are tough enemies. They're not difficult to kill, but they are tough, apparently. Oh no, this is not good. This is not so good. I don't really have a good way to heal and I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I could try and back up and heal, but I might die. So this is the guy that heals. I think he's a monk or something. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. I'm gonna try and back off while using some ranged attacks. And then heal up a bit. Meanwhile, this other guy has probably um, healed completely. Tough corpse, that's very good. Oh, I managed to kill him in one hit. That means I probably hit him another couple of times, which is good. So I guess that wasn't too bad. Yeah, he's a monk. Monks are also give strength. Barbarians are tough. Shaman strong. Oh no. Yeah. I might end up having two strength. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I got two strength. So after getting the gem encrusted hide, which increases all your uh, statistics, I will get trample. The reason why I choose trample over another ability is because I will choose the damage increasing ability for strength later. So having more strength based abilities will increase my total damage output. Trample is effective against cunning enemies, enemies which against are again are ranged enemies. Having the ability to dispose of ranged enemies is very important. The Death Knight is probably going to pull me in, so I'm gonna go a little bit closer and see if he's gonna pull me in. Excellent. Now I can kill the mage. He blinked away. Okay, so let's see if we can get the Death Knight then. use by to heal on the death knight. If I go for the mage he will probably just blink so I'm gonna go for the warlock instead. This is also an adventure party level. You might have noticed that this is different from regu regular level. All the enemies have um, more hit points than on another level. So these are like the boss levels if you might. So now I will take Draconic Fury. The reason why I take this ability is because it will increase 
or it will give a chance to do double damage for all my strength based attacks. That also increases the chance of my uh, regular attack to do double damage. Because my regular attack also has increased speed, this effectively multiplies my damage output. Just waiting around the corners for these enemies to come closer. And this is the first tough enemy. Mostly cunning enemies on this level, which is not so good because I will not be able to increase my stamina. Stamina also increases your hit points. A paladin, that's another tough one. Monks are strong. another tough one and that's it so let's try to balance out the corpses um, that's too inspiring and then two strong ones so that gave me two stamina I think not too sure Now for all the dragons I always use these same abilities, but now you have a choice. Now I can choose one of the dragon specific abilities. I could for example choose flame strike or firebolt or anything else. I could also choose a health increase, but I don't think I will need it. I don't have any abilities right now that are particularly effective against tough enemies, so Flame Strike is going to be rather useful. It's also an, e uh, an area of effect damage attack. It only does uh, half the damage in the splash radius, and it only has a it will have a radius of three by the end of the game probably. It's not that amazing, but it might be useful in some way or another. So this is pretty neat. I have two tough enemies and two strong ones. But uh, this um, Death Knight is actually is is a boss type of enemy, so he's stronger than a, a normal one, and he pulls me in. Now I'm going to use my Trample ability to stun him for him for another turn. Then I'm just going to use my regular bump attack and that actually killed him. I could heal up entirely by just uh, using bite on this druid. I think I just might do that. Uh, then there is another boss type character. This uh, Luna has more hit points than any other regular type character. So let's just wait it out. The Barbarian is going to charge me, maybe. So the Shaman is also strong. So there we are. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Um, so I have one inspiring, one strong, I think. And there we are. Again, I'll use Trample to open up so it's stunned for one turn, and then I will just kill it with my. Uh, breath ability, which is particularly effective against uh, agile enemies, and this is a rogue, so 
rogues are vulnerable against that. So again, just paper, rock, scissor. Another barbarian, very good. Warlock. It's kind of annoying that the auto walk function doesn't stop on uh, on, on coins, but you know whatever. It's another tough one. So then I will balance out um, these inspiring and strong corpses if I can. I think I can. Yeah. So I have 19 stamina. I need another point of stamina to get another point of, of strength and will. But I'll get it next level. So I will ha I will be able to choose two more abilities. So you, you can choose two of these last tier abilities. They all have a long cooldown. I always choose Wing Buffet because again this is a strength based talent and Draconic Fury has it gives me a chance to increase all my strength based talents. And then I can choose Inferno or Blast Wave. Um, obviously Inferno is going to be th the choice for the Red Dragon because it does a lot of damage. Each enemy in sight will get uh, some damage, it's, it's effective against Agile enemies. I'm definitely going to choose that one later, but now I will choose Wing Buffet. Oh, the Death Knight is probably going to pull me in, but not before I eat that. Oh, that's another uh, special one. So the priest is gonna heal himself. I thought, apparently not. Critically, and I'm just gonna eat it. So I reached another uh, breakpoint for stamina, so now I get plus 5 to my other stats, which is pretty good. I have 20 strength, 17 willpower and 21 stamina. And I'm gonna choose Inferno as my uh, ultimate ability here. So now we are on the final level. The final level is also one of these adventure uh, party levels. Let's have a look what we're dealing with. Priest, mage, uh, death knight is going to pull me. 
warlock, another priest. So we have two priests. Um, what is going to happen is I'm going to trample. Then the death knight is going to pull me. Then I will probably... Um, I don't know. I'm not too happy about that. I'm gonna open up with my. Um, hmm. no, I can't. I can't actually get them in one hit, which is kind of annoying. I think I'll just uh, rig this hunter. Let's have a look what's there. Oh no, so many priests, it's not so good. So this is why I saved my breath attack to try and get two important enemies. Now I can use trample. Oh no, stupid rogue blocked me. I think I'll use my Inferno and hope to try and finish off some of these priests. There goes the death knight, pulling me in. Death Knight is dead, and I can use a teleport. And now I will use Wing Buffet and hope I get all these priests. And I didn't. This is really bad. Uh, heal on one of the priests. I still haven't killed them. I've been trying to kill these priests from the beginning of the game. They just keep healing each other. And there goes the second priest. I get this warrior ready so I can eat him. So now I will heal on the dragon, uh, on the warrior, sorry. And then I will finally kill this priest and then use my breath attack on the last one. And this should kill all the priests. try and heal on the rogue this time and I fail to heal and that's probably the end of my game not much I can do except die right now <laughs> 